start with the, the game winner or the game tire? Whatever you want, go ahead. Uh, I mean, you know, the resilience, you've talked about the resilience, the team's talked about resilience. So that, you know, Carolina was a, a tough one. Tonight was a tough one for a different maybe reason. Totally different reason. Yeah. Um, somebody's going to have to explain to me the difference between their goalie losing their his goalie pad and the whistle and our goalie being flat down with no mask on and no whistle. Somebody's got to explain that to me. What, what, what was the explanation? The, the, the explanation was uh, our guy caused it to happen. But regardless, our, go our goalie's down on his stomach with no mask. So, I, anyways, I, listen, I'm as confused as anybody. But you listen, okay, so let's go back to the resiliency of our team. Uh, as, we, as you know, we addressed it right after Minnesota and then we left it there. And then you count on the guys to have pride and can bounce back. That was a, that was a great effort tonight. It, it really was. I'm very proud of the way they play. They should be proud of the way they, they bounce back. And what we'll do uh, going into Sunday, what we did after Minnesota, okay, we'll enjoy this win. And then we'll get ready for Chicago. The trip's not over. Seems to be some debate over, like on the rule itself, saying it has to be an immediate scoring chance. Did you view the Robertson shot that triggered? Well, they made a play. They got the control of the puck, and then they still were able to make a play, and then he still was able to shoot the puck. Like again, the Chevy's on it, so uh, it's, uh, I'm I'm as confused as anybody. Should the anyways, I gotta be careful what I say. What did you see from Josh Morrissey? Yeah. Oh my His God! You see, I love him. Did you see him skate there at the end? He was he was flat out flying. Uh, he's just been great for us all year. And you when I you get him into a foot race and look out, but he's been just outstanding for us all year. And uh, see, yeah, that was that was pretty exciting to watch him go down. You could just see him pulling away, and he knew he was going to get a shot away. And that was just, he looks like a goal scorer walking in like that those last two overtimes. Could have been hard for a guy to park that play. I mean, obviously he's right in the heart of the tying yeah. goal, but you know, how is he able to just you move on? You, you move on, uh, you know, but it, listen, there's, it's whistle to whistle out there. And I, and I talked to the team about even that goal that was disallowed that hit the screen and we're all standing there waiting for the referees to blow the whistle, right? Remember? And so you got to go whistle to whistle, man. You got to keep playing and you got to get ready for your next shift. And I thought we did a great job of that tonight. What do you think of the way that Dylan DeMello provided a boost? Not only oh, to right. pairing, but your team as a whole. He's, uh, listen, it shows you how much we've missed him. Uh, he was outstanding tonight. Very reliable, moved the puck really well. Uh, he's a good he's a good partner for Mo. We played together a long time. But I thought I'd love Mel's game tonight. Uh, for his first game back after missing it so much time, he, uh, very proud of the way he played. How did you feel about the start tonight? Because it was, I mean, it was quick, and then yeah. gave up one twenty seconds yeah, later. Yeah, you know, they made a good play. We made a bad read. We, I mean, we step up and the puck bounces over us, and they score. Like so, if you you step up and you stop it, you're saying yeah. great play. And the puck takes a bad bounce and it goes to them. Well, okay, that's hockey. Move on, coach. What is it like to be back? Uh, love it. Yeah, I love it here. It's a lot of good memories. You know, the, the only disappointing thing from my year, my in my years here, was when we went to the Stanley Cup Finals and we couldn't have our fans there. Like that's that was that's disappointing because you get to the finals and I know this atmosphere here from the year before in the playoffs. Yeah, they've got great fans here and they've got a great atmosphere. So the only disappointment I have from leaving here is that. that going to the finals and being in the bubble in Edmonton and not having the, our fans, the fans here enjoy that game. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Thanks.